talk about the third demo. The third demo is to kind of do the same thing we did. We first showed you unstructured data, then showed you structured data. But this demo is uh, to look at PDF documents. There, there are some uh, important use cases here. Uh, we have uh, you know, banking customers who, who need to consult uh, various PDF documents anytime, say, for example, they're uh, compiling documents uh, for a loan uh, and things of that sort. Uh, uh, there's uh, many procure to pay types of uh, use cases that use uh, PDF documents. Uh, there's even uh, situations where a customer might find value in looking up a bunch of PDF manuals. So having the ability to look at unstructured PDF documents is very useful. In this case, we've decided to use the Google Palm 2 model. And uh, uh, Google has really, uh, you know, so in, in our evaluation of all of these different products, Google did the best job when it came to uh, the ability to in, in extract information from PDF files, including follow-up questions. And uh, the approach we have is relatively more traditional in the sense that what we're doing is vectorizing the information that's in those PDF files and then using our middleware to uh, to uh, have an in, uh, to enable the interaction between the customer and the, and the PDF. Uh, and, and the other benefit of using uh, a model like Palm 2 is that it's 5% as expensive as GPT-4 with equivalent quality and in some cases better. So let me show you how that works. Uh, it's, uh, the demo is a little bit different. The, the UI looks a little bit different is what I mean to say. Uh, so let me come in here. And this is just a really straightforward uh, you know, demo. So let me maybe reload the page or something like that, just so it's clean. I'm gonna ask a new question uh, and I'm just gonna copy paste these questions from, from another uh, document. So this is, uh, we have uh, loaded up a, a document which represents the uh, Hyundai Ionic uh, vehicle manual. So there's a collection of vehicle manuals that we've indexed and people can ask questions about that. So the first question is, what does the evasive steering assistant do? And uh, while I'm doing, while I do this, let me also show you, you know, what what the actual document looks like. This is the uh, actual document, and if you go to page three sixty three, it gives you information on what the evasive steering assist function does. So you'll notice that it says, uh, uh, you know. When a risk of collision is detected, it will warn the driver and all of that. I, I can sort of ask a follow-up question, which is uh, like, does it work for pedestrians? And uh, and and you, you'll notice that it's able to understand that in the context of what I asked about the evasive steering assistant, it can actually work for pedestrians as well. Let me ask a couple more questions. So what adjustments can I make on the front headrests? So in this case, uh, there's some information on page 117 about headrests and things like that. So it says you can uh, uh, you know, adjust them by raising or lowering them and moving them forward or backward. And by the way, in this case, I'm just giving you text, text responses, but if there are uh, relevant images, we can also present those images back in the response. So, uh, you, you know, you get an, a good uh, sort of multimedia effect uh, of, of just simply uh, searching through various PDF documents. The next thing I ask is, okay, let me ask a follow-up. Can I recline the seat back towards the front? Uh, now, what I'm trying to get at is, you know, if, if my headrest is too high, uh, if, if you can imagine a car, let's say I'm on the front and, and I raise my headrest too high and I recline and I move it in the front, it has the, it might hit the windshield. I'm kind of uh, looking, uh, looking to get that response. So let, uh, let me ask a follow-up question. What happens if I do this with the headrest raised? And then here, finally, uh, you know, uh, I, I get the response that I'm looking for is if I, if it, if I recline it towards the front with the seat cushion raised, the, the the headrest will come in contact with the with the visor as as it as shown over here. Again, this is just uh, an example of uh, uh, where we can take data from all sorts of different documents. And by the way, you can mix and match all of these. You you may have 
some structured data, some unstructured data, and some PDF data, and you can mix all of them into one single chatbot that then goes and pulls the appropriate information. In addition, we can look at data from Salesforce, ServiceNow, uh, Jira, all of these different uh, uh, backend systems, as well as extract text from videos, uh, assuming that you know uh, there's uh, you know there there's people speaking and and some kind of text in the video.